We do the things that have had to be done since the world was young. I have cared. We're here for your first cry, for your last breath. We will be here when you're old. <laughs> we are love itself, and for love, there is no charge. We had a, um, a screening uh, in London, and I went straight to my f- folks, and I didn't ask about the acting. I was like, I don't care about the acting. How was the accent? Was the accent? <laughs> they were like, yeah, it was good. It was good. I was like, Gorgeous <laughs> Gerald, the physio, will be paying us a call. Oh, that's it. I'm definitely wearing my shorty nighty. Hi, everybody. This is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. I'm delighted to have your company. Be talking to the actor, Bally Gill, about his role in the new British film called Alleluia. This is an NHS drama set in the north of England in a cottage hospital. has an all-star cast, Dame Judi Dance, the Derek Jacobi. Bally plays an Indian-trained doctor called Dr. Valentine. We last spoke to Bally when he was in the Royal Shakespeare Company production of Romeo and Juliet as Romeo. So Dr. Valentine is quite different, even though the names are a bit connected. So tell me about Dr. Valentine and how you got into the part. I'm especially interested in the accent and how you got that being a like a british asian you don't normally speak like that no, so no. i'm interested in that <laughs> you know what that's what everyone says they go you know we half expected you to be like talking you know with an indian accent but i, I think that's a compliment you know I, I do think yeah. that's a the patients without the best i don't like to think where they will have to go um yeah but the character you know the, the character is from is from um from india uh i think it's that social commentary that you know we wanted to to highlight in this film of, of uh you know immigrant immigrant coming to to yeah. this country um and i like loads of stories that are very similar to that um and 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 having that sort of outsider's perspective on uh this very british nhs world um and yeah and i, I remember when i went straight we we had a um a screening and in london and i went straight to my f- folks and i didn't ask about the acting i was like i don't care about the acting how was the accent was the accent <laughs> they were like yeah it was good it was good i was like oh my God. that's all right was like, so as long as the accent was good you know i, I was yeah. happy about it and how much was dr valentine on the page and how much did you were you able to kind of uh, expand on it or um bring your own uh personality to it yeah, I think it was a lot. To be honest, it was a lot of Alan Bennett, a lot of him. Um, and there's, there's something at the beginning of the film where it was like, uh, they go, he doesn't know. Why did they call you Dr. Valentine? You know, you go, why do you call him yeah. Dr. Valentine? And uh, he goes, because oh, they can't pronounce my name. Do you know what I mean? And and that was something that I thought was so um, intelligent from Alan Bennett, who this is, you oh, know. He's, like that. he's one of my favourite writers. So anything Alan Bennett does is... Is it's always incredible. very ex- exceptional, and and that's, and that's a real lived in. I thought, wow, that's a real on it, switched on thing to you know to, yeah. to have um, for someone of his age and of from, course, from, yeah, 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 um, yeah. And so yeah, so I, 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 it was a lot of Alan Bennett, and he, he's brilliant. I remember they were saying they said to me, oh, it's a dark, it's a dark comedy, it's, it's and I was like not in the sections I'm doing. It's not a comedy at all. I've got the, you know, it's all, it's, I've got all the... No, you know, I know. I, oh, no, no, was, no. Yeah, quite. I mean, um, how much do you feel that Dr. Valentine, to me, he's like the moral conscience of the film and he he represents everything that's kind of good and it's not in the, obviously, the way the plot, without giving anything away, develops. Mm-hmm. You see him in an even better light near the end, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, he is, he's, 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 Maybe he's a bit idealistic, potentially. Do you know, you have a lovely manner with her. I like old people. Rubbish. Even old people don't like old people. Um, but he believes in the right thing. He believes in people over the money, really. That's the that's the argument, really, is that he believes in people and he loves people and he listens to people and he wants to learn from this elderly generation. And maybe that's something culturally that's very different between British ah, culture and... I think exactly, yes. I think I can see a lot of Indian people, you know, people who come from India and work here, their, their attitude is slightly different because they're not being raised or brought up in the same environment as you and me. And mm. therefore they bring a different perspective. And I think that's very insightful of the film to have that sort of where he's very respectful and uh, he likes being with old people. Yeah. yeah. 
but <laughs> but and also he cares for him and and he thinks that that's the right thing to do which i i, I agree with which i think is the right thing to do um having a family member just recently pass away um we we did right. this thing we bought we bought my my grandma um home from the from the hospital she was in hospital we can't do the medical stuff obviously we couldn't we yeah. do the medical stuff but you know if that end of life care that end of you know we 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 would rather have her home and her surrounded by us and us look after her rather than really not um, and that's not nothing to do with the hospital or the doctor it's just it's just the it's just the way it's just what you do isn't it i know it? I'm, I'm very sorry for your loss but um it's uh it brings his personality um, brings something else to the film and the fact that it's a very British story and then you have this Indian doctor in the middle of it all is also a nice kind of contrast. Um, how how uh, how difficult was it to get into that part? You know what, not not to... You, you do the initial work of doing becoming the doctor, so talking to geriatricians, talking to doctors, talking to nurses, you, you do all of that work. So I did all of that, you know, spoke to a lot of people, couldn't go into hospital because yeah. COVID times, you couldn't go into uh, hospital, but then did a lot of research online. Um, and then you get to set and you've got all that in your brain and then you look at the dialogue with the other actors and the character, you go, actually, you know what? That stuff can get parked a little okay. bit and then it's just about the human connection between the two people, you know? Um, and you have a, on, on, we had a on-site sort of doctor who would show you administering uh, things and you all that sort of stuff. But actually it was more about the relationships in this, in this particular film. You know, I didn't have to have any like long names for things on my arm and like, you know, can't yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, I never had any of that stuff. How was it uh, being alongside Judy Dench? I mean, the Dame Judy Dench, I should say. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, she's incredible. Like so down to earth, so approachable made you feel so confident and and comfortable as well and um you, you know you just forget who you're sort of talking to i think people have this built up idea of judy and, and, of course, and yeah, yeah. Own, but the reason why she's like why she has that is because she's so friendly and so nice and um you know and 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 just very cheeky and very naughty and all of those <laughs> things you know uh, which uh made it easy it made yeah. the scenes with her actually were some of the easiest scenes i've ever filmed with anyone really yeah and my final question i'm being asked to wrap up here is like are you gonna be in theater or are you gonna balance both film and theater we last met you when you were doing um romeo and juliet and all that yeah, so yeah. are you still interested or are you just going to be a film career now <laughs> you know what i'd love to say it's good i think we're not i think i need a healthy balance of both you know what to be able to do both of them and to like try and like smash it in both of these these mediums would be uh you know you know once the career's all done and dusted to be able to say that i did both of them at, at the level would be incredible so um yeah I, I, you might you might see me in a couple of tv series coming up oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. well i was gonna ask you you were in that um bbc drama as well this is going to hurt yeah it was I in the whether you brought any of that kind of there's a slight voice voice voiceover element in this as well yeah was, I did that have any bearing on the way you played Dr. Valentine? You know what was quite nice about that is that I was in, I got to be in a part of two NHS series in the last like year that, you know, you don't really get to hear, you know, not many yeah. series about them, but um, no, I didn't have to do too much of the doctor part of it, but there was interest. It, they were so different tonally styled. The whole thing was so different. So it was, inc it was incredible to be a part of two projects talking relatively about the same thing yeah but just very different um so yeah i was i was quite uh i was I, I didn't bring anything over from it but i i i appreciate it nonetheless to be a part of but of both of them yeah well bye it was terrific thanks a lot for your time and i uh, wish you all the best you were great in the film and uh, i think you will a lot of people will really love you and want to see you again on the big screen oh but bless thank you thank you so much thank, thank you tell them about your life I used to work in a factory. I had ten men under me. So did I on a good day. <laughs> We're fighting for our right to care. We're in danger. Oh, Papa! Oh.